お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another FFB War of the Visions here in the fort. And today, guys, we're going to be going over the brand new update that we have for the game for the week of June 17th. So, first off, um, you guys didn't know, they actually had some kind of error in regards to uh, the explanatory text for the vision card training pack sold in the version upgrade shop was incorrect. Um, and it didn't include... Um, the Gale Heavenly Tetra, and then it also was incorrect by saying Odin wasn't included, but he was included because I did pick up Odin. Uh, so for compensation, what they're doing is they're actually giving anyone that purchased that Vision Training Card Pack 50 Tetra Sylphid Shards. So uh, even if you guys don't have the Esper or the card right now, it's still always awesome to have because you guys can always pull this card in this esper down the line so that's really really awesome for any of you guys that did spend that 1000 paid viz you guys are going to be able to get that um and then there they have some other other updates for bug fixes and things like that um and then compensation it looks like they're going to give you 400 um i believe this was already compensated though uh the five large stamina pots the three x yeah all that stuff has already been compensated so i think they just really added uh, the Tetrid Sylphid card there. There's a lot of bug fixes they had to do, and we did get a lot of compensation already delivered. So I think most of this has already been delivered. Um, if anything else isn't, I'll let you guys know. But uh, then we have the hard quest. All the stuff we already pretty much went over in the update, um, which we'll hop in to show you guys in full detail real fast. But one thing to note they did add here is the Chapter 6 Awakening Prisons. Uh, the story quest pack. So if you guys spend, I believe it's a thousand viz, you guys are going to get a bunch of fragment of thoughts, rainbow spheres, rainbow fragment of thoughts, and elemental prisms. So, but let's go and hop into the shop real fast so you guys can check it out um, and show you guys what we have. Now, the shop is very underwhelming um, for this update. So there is no vision card pack this time. Uh, they have the same EXP Faint Memory Packs, the same Unit Awakening Pack, and the same Rainbow Training Pack. So honestly, um, if you guys can wait, if you guys aren't starving for Rainbow Materials right now, after you guys do the new events, I would just save your paid viz. I don't think these packs are worth it anymore when we've seen the value they can potentially bring to the game. So I would honestly pass on all these, um, and then definitely the equipment stuff I would pass on as well. So I think this is a week... Kind of save up viz, guys. I, I don't think the uh, the shop items are really worth it. Um, if it's gill, obviously that's fine to get. I picked up the eggs already. Uh, and then we have here the, the shop for the shards. Now I will say, if you guys do plan on investing in salary and you guys have that extra uh, 2,400 viz, you may want to pick up 60 shards for her. It all just kind of depends where you're at. Me personally, I don't really have the Viz to spare right now, but we'll see where I'm at before this leaves in two weeks to see if I have the extra 2400 that I may want to throw at for shards, or I may just want to get her slowly down the line. Um, I'm kind of like weighing my options of banners coming up, what I need to save for, because I haven't really been able to save very much since Lucia. I've been having to invest pretty hard in her. But the same normal stuff you guys get there with the, you know, the new unit release. And then we have Eileen and Whisper are in raid up this week. So you as well can get materials and shards for those two units as well. You guys can get 40 shards of each of those heroes. So I'm not really going to spend a lot of time going over the shop just because it's been kind of the same stuff. They haven't really added much new. The only thing new that they did add, I will go over briefly, was the equipment packs. And what it is that it is going to be? It's going to give you 15 seals, one resmithing hammer, and then two evasion hammers for 500 regular viz. So if you guys want that for magic, if you guys want that for evasion, or if you guys want that for crit, uh, those are all available. Personally, I would just wait until the secret book training quest comes and get those materials like the seals. Then I wouldn't I wouldn't really spend 500 viz on that personally. Because those seals could still fail you overall when you guys are maxing out a, a piece of gear. They're not a guarantee um, that you're going to get those stats you're looking for. So just keep that in mind. For paying 500 viz, kind of doesn't seem worth it in my opinion. Um, so that's just my kind of two cents on it. But let's go into the events real fast. 
There isn't a lot of events to go over. There's only three new events um, that we got besides the JP daily quest, which we obviously know. Do that every day. You get a lot of JP for your new units. Uh, this, you can only attempt. You see this? I can only attempt it once a day, and I cannot attempt it unless I have Victora. So, don't have her, so I can't do it right now. Uh, this is the salary event quest, so you guys are going to have to do this to get all the different materials and stuff. Those are the drops here. Uh, besides doing your first time clears and um, and then your how many ever times you guys have to clear them pretending on the level um, I believe it's like three for everyone but quest five quest five you actually got to complete 15 times to get all the rewards So I'll go over that in the mission tab and show you guys but outside of doing these just want getting your mission rewards I would not overly farm this event um, Then we have the EX quest now they have nerfed the drops big time in this especially in terms of multiplayer before multiplayer had double drops and half stamina, now there are equal drops as the regular quest. So the only thing doing multi is going to save you, unless you're actually just actively joining rooms, not using stamina, is that you only get six stamina cheaper. But the runs will take significantly longer. So if you're in a speed farming mode, it probably now for this event anyway, unless they change the drop rates. Um, and I'm waiting for farming uh, WOTV calc to update with this event to be sure but from what everyone's been saying in my personal experience from farming the event so far the drop rates are definitely not what they were from the last event and all the other events prior so but anyway uh like we talked about in my update video on monday you guys are going to get fragment of thought and then the crafting materials for your first time clears doing all these objectives i just left mine on auto and i was able to do the 2000 damage don't hire a companion, kill all the units, all that good stuff, and I got all the rewards. So for me, it was no big deal. Pretty easy event. Uh, but yeah, so that's all that for the event. Like I said, not really too much to go into. Um, and then we go to multiplayer. Here, you guys will see here, you guys can do the same thing. And it's, you know, the same drop rewards as before. You guys definitely want to do your uh, all your mission reward, all your mission endeavors, so you guys get all the uh, first time achievement rewards and you know however many time achievement rewards you guys got to do. So let's go and hop into the events. So and this will show you guys everything you guys can get. So like I said here, the majority of them are three time clears for quests all the way through quest four, um, and then once you get to quest five, then that's when you're going to have to do fifteen times, and you guys are going to get. From Quest 5, you're gonna get prisms, elemental fragments, all that kind of good stuff. So you're gonna get five, 10, and then 20. So you're gonna get a total of 35 elemental fragments for your uh, dark, for your, and then for your uh, lightning, and for your ice. So that is pretty cool. Um, it's weird that you don't, actually you only get dark spheres or prisms. That's really random. They're giving us... I don't know why they're giving us dark prisms. Maybe for Whisper is my only guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you are going to get... Uh, looks like 35, 35 dark prisms. And then you're going to get uh, 35 ice and lightning fragments and prisms for that. And then you guys do the EX quests. You have to do those five times each. And you're going to get various rewards such as... A little bit of the Zor, you're going to get some Rainbow Spheres, some of the crafting materials, the Salary Shards, which are very good to get. Uh, so it looks like from the regular EX quest, you're going to get two Rainbow Spheres, and it looks like here, uh, 300 Vizor from the Endeavors, on top of the 50 Vizor for your first time clears. And then finally, going into the multiplayer, you're going to get 150, or 250 Vizor total, and then you're going to get some more Salary Shards, and then you're going to get the crafting materials. So no extra rainbow spheres or rainbow fragments or anything like that for the multi. But overall, I believe you get like 450 Vizor from the missions. And then you're going to get 50 for each initial clear. So still quite a bit of Vizor. Not too bad on that. So decent rewards. And you guys do get 40 salary shards, which is enough to LB her at least one time. If you guys do get lucky enough to pull her in any of these summons. So speaking of summons, let's go ahead and hop into the banner. That's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. There wasn't really anything else... I wanted to go over yet uh, we're still calculating for the raid rankings so when that goes live i'll show you guys where i ended up um but i know for sure i got in the top 5,000. i don't think i pushed hard enough though to get the top 1,000. so we have like always every update we usually get a free multi summon so we're gonna get a free multi summon um then you guys have the 
banner for Victora and sa and salary, and then you guys have here um, you have a unit guaranteed uh, UR summon and a unit guaranteed Vision card summon. So I am going to do both of them um, on in today's video. So and then we also have our limited early summer summon banner. So let's look at the drop rate. So you guys can show I show you that yes they are going to have a lower drop rate for salary. So we go to oh we went too far down. So we go to MRs. Where is she at? There we go. See salary. Your normal MRs is going to have a point. 432% chance of being pulled and then salary is half with a 0.2% chance of being pulled so you probably will get her eventually but it's not gonna be, you have to be lucky um and then if we go to her banner let's see what her drop rate goes here so we go to the mrs and salary here has a one percent chance so massively more so she does have the highest pull rate for an MR. So if you are really jonesing to get this girl on your team immediately, then summoning on the actual featured banner is going to be your best bet. At a 1% rate, you're talking about, you know, maybe having to do for like a good guarantee spot, maybe 10 multi summons, but basically every multi you have about a 10% chance to pull her. So not terrible, but still not amazing. I mean, that's just a little bit more pulling the featured you are. So, you know, expect, you know, kind of go in there expecting maybe to pull 10 times to pull her. So, unfortunately, it's a, that's 20k Vizor, so that's a lot for an MR unit. But it is what it is. She's insanely good. She's by far the best MR in the game, period. So, I mean, I don't, I'm definitely not going to say you guys are not wise by, by pulling for her, since this banner will be your best chance. But, like I said, guys, you guys can always just accumulate her shards over time. You know, it still will take a while to get her TMR and all that good stuff. So you may want to just like eventually fall, have her fall into your lap instead of, you know, event, instead of trying to go crazy to get her. Especially if you pulled on Lucia, if you pulled on Miranda, if you're still, you know, trying to recover from tactics, anything like that from recent events. We've had a lot of hype banners over the last couple of weeks. So, you know, and plus Warrior of Light is coming as well. So keep all that kind of stuff in mind before you guys decide to do 10 multi summons or summon until you get salary that you know you can always pull her in any off banner so anyway guys let's go and get started here we're going to start with our free multi um, we're going to do three multi summons so this one is not a guaranteed you are so we'll just see what we get uh, my wish list for today's video is definitely going to be getting one more dupe of lucia if i get just one straight dupe then i actually am done with her and i'll have her tmr um obviously salary another big one if i can pull that it'd be amazing uh, and then we also want to get Ayaka dupes. We want to get Zyza dupes for units. And then for cards, Tetrasilpha is the number one card to get. Um, I also will take Odin dupes. I need three more Odin dupes to max awaken it. Um, and Shiva dupes. So those for my cards, those are the ones I'm looking for. So Odin, Shiva, and Tetra. And then for units, it's going to be Lucia, Zyza, and Ayaka. Those are like my main ones. So let's see what we can get, guys. Um, I wouldn't mind getting Victora just because I could do the event daily thing. And we are gonna get a go. Oh, yes, let's go. We are getting a UR, and it's a card. Okay, maybe we can pull Tetra Sylphid. Let's see here. And we got three golds too. This is a very good free summon. All right, so we got Marguerite. We got Murmur. All right, no upgrade. Another uh, Lamia Queen though. Schultz, and I'll definitely take the MR uh, units because I always want to try to get their limit breaks to complete more of our daily or more of our uh, long term endeavors. All right, let's see. Can we pull Tetra? Let's see. No, but we did get a Shiva dupe, so that's still very, very good. I'll take it. I will take a Shiva dupe. All right, not bad for our free summon. So you are you are crystal or a you are sphere and, and a Shiva dupe. So one of the best dupes I could get. So definitely could be worse, absolutely. So all right, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and, and do our paid for our unit, and let's see if we can get a Lucia. And we just got an Endeavor achievement reward as well. 
All right, we are not going a switcheroo rainbow, and it only one, so yeah, upgrade to only gold, unfortunately. So all blue. All right, all right, got another upgrade to a gold. Durando shards, all right. <laughs> so at least, at least those are uh, limit break shards. Oh, another upgrade, but only the gold. Path to Revenge, isn't that a, I think that's a new card for me, actually. Don't think I had that before. All right, we got Explosive Orb, Figuling Witch. I know it's definitely not max if that wasn't new. All right, let's see what this unit can be. Yep, I, we knew it was gonna change. And another Katone. <laughs> oh, I just randomly pulled one of those yesterday too. That sucks. I, I mean, it doesn't suck. Katone's a good unit, but it's not what I was, uh, it definitely was not on the want list, so. But it is what it is. But yeah, that was new, so we do now have this card. Uh, so that's not terrible. It's slash attack and defense up, so not too shabby. So let's see. If we can get lucky on this guarantee, let's see if we can get multiple UR cards. Oh, and it looks like they're doing those limited rewards again for um, another goal. That does that probably means it's going to be bad. Yeah, again, all blue. Wow, my paid summons have been trash. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to get like dashed in a snowy field or something like that on this card as well. If I get a Tetra, then I'll be all gravy and then I won't be pulling on these guaranteed card banners anymore. But I don't think my luck is there today. It doesn't seem like it yet. No upgrades. So let's see what the card is to finish out the video. <laughs> oh my god. Game, are you serious? Wow. Oh, Gumi, 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 why do you hate me so much? All right, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go to our mission rewards because, yeah, we clearly do have um, have some mission rewards for uh, the Victor of Shards, more than likely, just like they are doing for Lucia. So I guess this is a new thing they're going to be doing to try to help you guys get, um, get Shards, so... I mean, that's kind of cool. I get, uh, I get the pots, and then I got five shards and one rainbow sphere. So, not bad, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. Um, hopefully, you guys had better luck than me. I mean, I did get uh, a Shiva dupe, which was good, but the other two dupes were... I mean, Katone is not bad by any means, but just not what I'm personally looking for or trying to complete and round out my account. So... It is what it is. Um, we'll we'll just have to get. I think like if I do the world quest, uh, if I do the refresh for Lucia every day, every day in like ten days, I'll have her TMR. So eventually, I will get her TMR. But thank you guys so much for watching the channel once again. Though, if you guys did enjoy today's content, make sure you guys drop a like down below, hit subscribe. You guys are new, and ring that bell for future notifications. So you don't miss the next video we upload here for Final Fantasy Brave XPS War of the Visions here on Fort Misery Gaming. And we hope to see you guys real soon. Be safe out there and take care, guys. Later.